Yamamoto back at you again. I'm here with you for another video. Uh, today I want to talk about YouTube as a career. Um, I'm not talking about like how you become a YouTuber as a career because obviously I don't know how to do that. Um, I want to talk about how, like, I'm just curious. I'm curious about YouTube as a career and how people actually get about doing it and the issues that they, they got to come across, you know. Let's talk about some things and some stuff. Here today on Paramoto. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is over here. Let's get to it. So yeah, I want to talk about YouTube as a career and all the considerations for it. But firstly, there is an Aventador parked right here. And we're going to take a closer look at it. Oh man, he got a new one too. That is a fucking nice ass car. Woo! Aventador fucking, what, Spider? A Spider because it's a convertible? That's nice as fuck! Anywho, nothing like seeing a $400,000 car. So I want to talk about YouTube as a career and uh, everything that goes along with it as well today. Um, I've actually, I'm intrigued. I am just intrigued, just pure curiosity. I want to make sure that nobody's coming around this truck and fucking kill me like... Guys. Fucking motherfuckers. I almost ran over like three times so far today. It's like it's like you don't have to have a brain or eyes to have a fucking motor vehicle license. I, I don't fucking get it. But yeah, so I'm just genuinely intrigued about fucking YouTube as a career. You know, like how do these people go about it? Like, if you make your your living off of YouTube, please throw me a message and tell me what your life is like, because I am just so intrigued. Um, I know moto vlogging, in and of itself, moto vlogging is not the most. Hey, look, it's us. It's not the most. Uh, uh, not not so much. I guess financially rewarding career. Um, I know there are some people out there that make their living off of YouTube, like Yummy R6 and Chase on Two Wheels and do it with Dan and they have YouTube ad revenue and um, they always say that it's not much pay attention motherfuckers so they always say that it's not much and it's never consistent so like how do you go about living off of YouTube that like how do you have a living off of something that like the paycheck just change every week you know one week you're getting a hundred dollars the next week you're getting a thousand dollars and the next week after that you're getting two like i don't i don't understand it i don't understand it like how do you go about dealing with that change all the time there's no consistency in your paychecks and then like how do you go about like adulting at that point will anybody give you a loan like if you need to get a house or get a get a um car or anything like you don't have any sort of like consistent paychecks and that's what a lot of people want to see is that um that's like one huge reason why even if i did have the opportunity to go full-time as a youtuber i don't think i would because there's just no consistency in anything and to that effect you know you're talking about making your living off of the internet the internet is typically a very fickle place so you know youtube is the big video sharing site right now tomorrow it might be vimo or the next day it might be something totally new like how do you how do you honestly prepare for that like your your like basically your job might change like your place of business might change tomorrow do you just like post your videos on like two or three different sites and just hope that one of them stays consistent you know like is that what you do i want to stay in the shade here i mean that's probably what I would do. I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket because, like, YouTube could be gone tomorrow. Like, YouTube is really, I mean, it's really solid and everything. It's been a long, around for a really long time. But, and the same thing, it's still the internet. And it's still, this guy's just staring at me. You know, it's still the internet. And the internet stuff is always subject to change. Always. That's the one constant with the internet is that it's subject to change. There's some rally fire guys. Man, that one dude's got his fucking bunker jacket on, and it's like almost 80 degrees. <laughs> no, thank you. So, the internet's a fickle place. Your paycheck might not be coming from YouTube, 
forever. You know, it might be a different site tomorrow. Like, how do you go about dealing with that? Here's, here's Mr. Weird Haircut Suit staring at me guy. So, um, yeah, then you got, there's no consistency in paychecks. There's no consistency in where you come and you get your paycheck. So you can't sign off. Like, if you were going to say, you know, my money's always going to come from YouTube. And if I don't have YouTube, I'm not going to have money. That's, that's a very stupid position to put yourself in, to be honest with you. And then you don't get any benefits. Like, YouTube doesn't fucking pay you to, like, have vacation days. Like, you don't get any days off when you're on YouTube. If you take a day off, you're not making any money. You know, and that's something about a normal job that's really nice. Like, I mean, my job, you know, I get so much time off and so much time given to me that um, it says, it says don't walk. It says don't walk, you dick. But anyway, I get a lot of built-in time off and vacation time and shit. And, like, I could not show up to work for two or three months and get paid. And it, it wouldn't make any fucking difference, you know, to be honest with you. And YouTube doesn't afford that to you. And, like, in that same sense... Ugh, oh, God, I'm going to stop. Ugh, there we go. In that same sense where you don't have all this consistency, you also don't have vacation time. You don't have... Um, sick time you don't have retirement benefits you don't really have anything you're just kind of left on your own like you got to pay everything you know in that sense like do you just save up your money and pay for everything yourself because i mean if that was the case it might it might be an intelligent decision if you're just always paying for your money by yourself or not paying for your money paying for your benefits by yourself because then you're you know exactly 100 what you're getting like i'm gonna put this much into my retirement I'm saving for my own retirement. I'm saving for my own health insurance stuff. You know, you're doing everything yourself. Like, is that intelligent? Like, if you make enough money, that's probably would be intelligent, to be honest with you. You know? God, this fucking traffic's ridiculous right now. It's fucking, like, noon on a fucking Tuesday. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's probably intelligent to do that to a certain point. Like, if you know, your, know how to keep track of your money well enough, right? You know? But I would love to know what you guys do, like the people that make their money off of YouTube. Like, um, what do you do? Do you just save up all your money and then you like invest and put it aside and shit? Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how much a typical YouTuber gets paid. You know, I know it changes depending on how popular your channel is and whatnot. But like, are you able to do that or are you just straight up paycheck to paycheck? Because if you're a straight up paycheck to paycheck, I think that'd be a stupid fucking decision to become a YouTuber full time. Because honestly, you, you don't have a future. I mean, you're just, I mean, without the benefits and retirement and shit, your future is literally like work till you die. <sighs> cool. What the fuck was that? It was like the meth head gang sign? That dude was like messed out, teeth fucked up, and he's throwing me like a gang sign or some shit. Oh man, sweet jump, bro! <laughs> nice. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I would like, I would love to know what you guys do for benefits and everything. Like, I'm seriously, I'm intrigued on that. Like, just generally intrigued by it. And I'm not knocking you guys at all. Like, I just want to throw that out there right now. If you make your living off of YouTube good for you man you've basically started your own damn business your own brand and you're your own boss and i i fucking respect that so much if you can become your own boss in this world i respect you so fucking much you know good for you to be honest with you but yeah like i just want to know a, you know certain things like what do you guys do for all your benefits and all your money and shit go ahead you're in the crosswalk man you got the right away But, I mean, I'm just curious. I'm just curious about all this shit, to be totally honest with you. Bobby! I will bring up one thing about YouTube, though, that kind of seems pretty fucked up, to be honest with you. Like, all these people... Oh, look, another puppy. All these people were making their, their money off of it. What the fuck is that? 
What in the literal fuck? Man, life has not been good to you. But anyway, so I want to talk about like the guys that uh, made their money. Oh look, a Tesla, because we don't see enough of those. I want to talk about the guys that like have made their money off of YouTube. And now, like, YouTube changed the rules. So, like, there was people that were making, you know, a paycheck off of YouTube, and then YouTube pulled the plug on them. You know, they, like, uh, basically said, you're no longer being monetized because you don't meet these new requirements. And uh, they took their paychecks away from them. And if they were making any paychecks whatsoever, it probably would have been very slight, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, anyway, it's kind of fucked up. Like, so if you were, like, you know, had $100 a month coming from this paycheck, and then all of a sudden YouTube is just like, well, you can't monetize until you have 1,000 subscribers and 240,000, I think, minutes of watch time is what it comes out to. 4,000 hours of watch time is what it is, but I think it comes out to 240,000 minutes of watch time is what you need to monetize now. And that, that's a shitload of watch time. Fucking hit me, motherfucker. You know, and that's kind of fucked up. Like, and then, like, some people are just being demonetized because of the uh, content on their channel. Like, uh, guns now are, are typically frowned upon. You got some channels that are huge. Like, how about, like, Matt with um, um, Demolition Ranch? He, had a, he has a huge channel, and I bet you his videos are just demonetized left and right because of the guns and because of liberals just being fucking general pussies now. Like, th those, this country is turning into such... A fucking gaggle of pussies. It's crazy. Like, you can't you can't talk about guns anymore because you know they kill people. Let's not talk about all the people that die in car accidents and all the people knifed and shit in this fucking country. Let's talk about the very slim amount of people that are killed via gun violence. You know that are innocent. You know let's 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 fucking cite. You know what? I'm digressing into something political. Let's just fucking cut it off right there. But anyway. YouTube is basically fucking taking away their money from a lot of people because of different policies and stuff, which is kind of fucked up. And then some people are becoming, you know, demonetized on certain videos and in certain videos they're not. So it's leading them to put ads in their videos and whatnot. And I'll be totally honest with you, you know, like these ads in these videos, I think a lot of motor vloggers have actually started resorting to, to putting ads in their videos. And I think it's, it's kind of killing the spirit of the channel. You know, like, I don't really care about the banner ads and all the other ads and shit like that. I don't give a fuck about that. I really don't. I really could not care the fuck less. Get the fuck moving! I can give a fuck less about all... Why the fuck are you going 11 miles an hour? So, I can give a fuck less about all, like, the honest, like, regular ads being placed in the videos. I don't care. I don't care about it. Like, I mean, you got a channel, you've been building it. You should be allowed to put ads on it and make a little bit of extra money to support your channel. That's just, I mean, I, I agree with it. I agree with it. You should be allowed to. But then when um, people now have all these ads being skipped and the ads aren't being watched and they're not getting fucking paid, and what they're doing now is they're, like, speaking the ads. Like, they're talking the ads, you know, and I don't like that. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't like that. When, like, I'm watching a video and all of a sudden this guy's talking about, like, Dollar Shave Club and shit right after talking about some cool motorcycle or whatnot. Like, I think that's bullshit, dude. I really do think that's fucking bullshit. Like, you've killed your channel. You have sold out at that point as far as I'm concerned. You know? I hate it. It's really, it's really taken some of the, the spice out of YouTube for me. And that was a big reason why I started my channel in general. It's because I wanted to make content that I liked. <laughs> Those kids dig the bike. So, I wanted to make content that I liked, and I wanted to make honest content, you know, stuff without ads, some stuff without shit like, um, oh, you know, here's Paramoto here, and I want to talk to you about Dollar Shave Club. No, no, the fuck no, I do not want to talk to you about Dollar Shave Club. Fuck that. That is fucking stupid, you know? And I think these channels that have done it, you know, like, I always see things from, I mean, I, I'm a very reasonable person. And I always try to see things from everybody's side of the matter. And I understand why people have done it. But that doesn't mean I absolve them of the fucking crime of doing it. Like, I get it. You 
have put all your eggs in the YouTube basket. You need some money. I I understand. Like I really do. But in the same point, it's kind of like shame on you for not having any other options besides for fucking YouTube right now. You know, like honestly, holy shit, that's a pretty cool place. You know, that's a. I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's cool anymore. You know. And when you when you sit here and you fucking um, stop a video that I'm watching. And then you fucking put up, you know, I'm here to talk to you about Dollar Shave. Fuck you. Seriously, go fuck yourself. I don't want to hear your shit. I need to stop and get gas. My bike's starting to act weird. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to hear that shit. I really don't. You know. You have a tram stamp. Not classy. I mean, I guess you could turn right on red. That's, that's basically what I want to talk about today, guys. You know, like, honestly, stop fucking putting shitty ads in your fucking videos. It's annoying. Nobody wants to hear that shit. You know, just make honest content again, you know? Like, just fucking make honest content again. There's nothing wrong with just making a little bit of, bit of fucking money on your channel, but you don't need to sell out. Like, you really don't. And these people that, that have sold out, shame on you. Seriously. People that are fucking selling every minute on their channel you know like i have a million subscribers and i'm gonna go ahead and sell you know minutes on my channel now because you know i can't fucking um i can't afford to live without it you know like that's that sucks dude you probably need to branch out a little bit or do something different to be honest with you instead of just fucking making your channel soulless and just about monetization you know but again, I mean, I still see why people do it. I honestly still see why people do it because you need to fucking make money. You need to get paid. You need to fucking eat. I, I really truly understand it. guys that's gonna be it today um if you make your fucking living off youtube please let me know how it is let me know how you get by let me know what your finances look like i would love to know i'd love to know your side of the story you, you know how you how you fucking go about doing it how you started everything but if you don't please leave me a fucking comment if, if you don't make your living off youtube if you're just like one of our us normal people throw me a comment tell me how much you like this video tell me what kind of videos you like to see Tell me what kind of bike you fucking ride. Look, let's get a community started. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.